Hello, this is Michelle from Jellyfish Art. Get ready to set up your jellyfish aquarium. Today we are going to give you a better understanding of the cycling process, which means getting your aquarium ready before ordering your pet jellyfish. Before we get into the details of cycling, let's do a quick overview of what occurs biologically during this process. Toxic ammonia is converted by the bacteria into nitrite. Then, nitrite is converted by the bacteria into nitrate. Nitrate is the final byproduct and will remain in the aquarium. Since nitrate is the last step in the cycle, it is also an indicator that a cycle has occurred and that your bacteria colony has grown. Look at it this way. Everything starts with ammonia. One kind of bacteria basically eats ammonia and then poops out nitrite. A second type of bacteria then eats nitrite and poops out nitrate. This bacteria is typically much slower at eating nitrites, so be patient. Nitrate will just build up in the aquarium during this process. Yuck, you gotta love biology. A water quality test kit will be your best friend during this process. Avoid the strip tests, as they are not accurate. The test kit will tell you exactly what is happening with your water, and the results are a clear indicator of the bacterial activity. There are many different ways to create a strong cycle in your jellyfish art aquarium. No particular method is necessarily the best way, but some are faster than others. Once your salt water has been properly mixed and added into the aquarium, you will be ready to introduce your ammonia source, which remember is food for the good bacteria to eat. The following are valid ammonia source options. The two fastest ammonia sources are ammonium chloride drops or a one inch chunk of raw supermarket shrimp. The two slower ammonia sources are blue-legged hermit crabs and fish food or live baby brine shrimp. Bacteria source. The second crucial aspect of an aquarium cycle is live beneficial bacteria, which will feed on ammonia and nitrite. This bacterial process will naturally occur, but to help boost the bacterial activity, we add our jelly bio starter. The two ounce bottle contains both strains of beneficial bacteria, allowing you to speed up the process and establish the biological filtration, AKA bacteria colony in your aquarium. Our jelly bio starter is a live product and the expiration date must be observed prior to use. The product should be shaken before using to suspend the bacteria particles. Three capfuls of jelly bio starter will treat two gallons of water. To help speed up the cycle process, additional jelly biostarter can be added every five days at the same dose. This product will give a bacterial boost through the cycling process and will provide bacteria that will help stabilize the water parameters. Additional bottles of jelly biostarter can be purchased on jellyfishart.com. If you want to add an extra boost of bacteria, you may consider adding a few small pieces of live rock. Live rock is sold in most marine aquarium stores and contains living microorganisms that can be beneficial to an aquarium. But live rock should never be placed in the main display area of your aquarium, as this can cause injury to the jellies. Instead, small one inch pieces can be placed in the back of the tank on top of the black sponge where it has a cutout. This method is great, but I will mention live rock always carries the risk of bringing worms and other critters with it. Establishing a healthy bacteria colony will ensure your new pet jellyfish will be happy and healthy. Thank you for watching.